everyone, good morning. It is very early, it's 6.26 in the morning, I'm heading, my, heading to work. I was gonna do a video there last night, but uh, it was too dark for you guys to see me, so I decided not to. Uh, I just went out with uh, my buddy Ken, the guy that actually sold me the car from the dealership. He has some friends with the asshole that single-handedly put me in debt for the next like six to seven years. Um, he, uh, he was just kinda chilling, he was like, hey, what's going on? And, uh, and I was like, hey man, I wanna show you something. Uh, I've been having a problem recently with the idle on the car. When I'm sitting still and I'm in neutral and everything, uh, and I have the AC off, the car idles fine. It idles around a thousand to nine hundred kind of deal. But uh, every once in a while, it'll just like bog down at certain things, like turn on loads put on the engine. Um, but when I put AC on, it instantly affects the car and like you. Normally when you put AC on, it puts extra load on the engine so your engine compensates and goes, oh, you need more power. So it ups the RPM a little bit. So like mine, when I put the AC on, typically it would go to like 1100 or something like that, 1100 to 1200, and kind of just float in between 1000 and 11 or 1200, depending on the demand on the AC compressor. But what it's been doing recently is jumping and then falling flat on its face. like. It would go down, at first it'll uh, go down to like 8 and then come back up to 1,000, bug back down to 8, up to 1,000, and then all of a sudden it would just poof, fall down to like 500 and then fly back up to like 12 or 1,300 and then poof, back down again and it actually was so bad once uh, that the car actually stalled. It was, uh, it does it on hot, cold, rainy days, either one of them, doesn't matter which one. Uh, and sometimes it acts worse than other times. So like last night I went out and showed Ken and uh, it was fine the first time and then all I had to do, I just like flipped the gas a little bit, took it up to 1500 and then the car was trying to find its, its happy place basically is what it, like the easiest way I could describe it. And it was trying to find its medium and it couldn't so it went all the way up to 1500 and then fell down onto the 500 mark and then and then came back up and uh, right now I've been looking at like the uh, the injector duty cycle seeing like how much load is on the injectors when that happens uh, and it's about like two point like four five percent and then when it happens it actually doubles and goes to four point five percent so the engines obviously trying to play like catch-up kind of deal so I'm not hundred percent sure as to what is causing it because like it's perfectly fine when I'm driving. I can turn the AC on right now and it would work perfectly fine. Uh, and then as soon as I was at a standstill and idling, that's when it would, uh, that's when it'll start acting weird. So um, I have a hard time finding out what it is and it didn't do it before. It did it like the tiniest little bit before I got the clutch put in. And like, it was no problem. Like I could sit in traffic for days. Like obviously the car doesn't like sitting and idling anyway. But now it's bad to the point where it stalls out on you when you're out of light. You're like, whoa, 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 that's not cool. So uh, I'm not 100% sure what he did when he took the clutch out. I know that you got to take the mounts off and then you can drop the engine down at an angle and do it that way. Or you could take the engine out the whole way just enough so you can get to the transmission to get the clutch and flywheel out. Uh, and you got to take the intake off. And you gotta take the uh, subframe off, like just a little bar going between. So I'm not sure what he could have done that would have caused it, but at the same time, I know that there's definitely something different about the car. Like uh, it's easy to make mistakes. Like for example, Scott had then put the relief valve in or the recirc valve in upside down and backwards. So like it happens. I understand that. Like I'm an engineer. Like I've I put valves in backwards. I immediately was like, hey, that arrow's going the wrong way. So I flipped it around. Not everyone can pick it up that quick, I guess, like uh, realize the mistake. Like, there's a very small arrow on it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have anything, like any ideas as to what it is, I've reflashed my tune. I've tried like different settings on the AC, like see if it was like any different. It is a little bit different. So like when the, when the uh, recycled, 
air, basically when you restrict the air is off, it doesn't do it nearly as much. But uh, as long as the AC is on, it'll still do it. I think I'm getting sick, guys. This sucks. But uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I went out for um, a rip last night with Ken. Uh, he hadn't driven in the car since the clutch, and he was just like giddy as a school kid, right? He was just like, oh my god, uh, I love this. So, like, he used to own an Evo, and uh, due to circumstances, he had to get rid of it. So, he is Evo list now. And, uh, yeah, so he really enjoyed going out. Uh, we were out pretty late, actually, just ripping around and just had the windows down and listened to the car kind of deal and chatted. So that was definitely pretty cool. Uh, good guy, and uh, basically I picked his brain about what he knew about it. And we're both kind of at a standstill. We're like, I don't know, I was like, maybe the clutch for the, for the compressor was, I don't know, slipping, but then it wouldn't have any load on the engine. And I also wouldn't have any AC. But honestly, I don't know. So the only thing that I can think of now is like intake side kind of deal. Like maybe the MAF sensor uh, needs like not adjusting. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, calibration or something maybe. Uh, but I retuned it and like just reflashed it to the original tune that I had. Like uh, that I had before. I put the clutch in, just reflashed the same tune, and it does the same thing. So I was like, okay, I don't know. Uh, next thing I'm probably gonna check, I don't know, maybe the idle air control valve or something like that, but it doesn't throw any codes or anything, so I really don't, I have no idea, you guys, so if you guys know anything, let us, like I said, just, uh, give me a holler, uh, comment below or, like, direct message me, whatever you, uh, see fit, and, uh, help a brother out, because I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Other than that, the car works great, uh, I almost, like, took off yesterday. Oh, that's a dick move, but I really I didn't want that thing, so I'm sorry. I just crossed a solid white line instead of a, a dashed line. Yep. That's it, guys. I'm on my way to work. You guys can probably finally see my face now as the sun's starting to come up. It's now 6.33. Crazy the difference that seven minutes will make. But, uh, or actually, it's only six minutes. Jeez. But, yep. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling so you guys can go back to bed or wake up, whatever you're doing in the morning this early. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take off, I'm going to go to work, and I will see you guys next week. Uh, sorry for not getting it done on the weekend, I ended up being super busy, and I enjoyed my two days off from school, which I'm now doing, which is, it hurts my head, you guys, um, it hurts. But uh, it's alright, only a year and a half, and it'll be over. So, alright guys, thanks a lot for watching, stay tuned for more uh, next week, uh, I'll actually give you the... Uh, I've been driving on the clutch now for uh, three weeks and I put that many kilometers on it. No, I'm joking. Uh, 1220.2 kilometers. So by the time I get home, it'll be 1250. So I'll probably do a video about that and let you guys know how it feels because it does feel a little bit different now. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week.